In this tutorial, I'll show you how to install GCC, a popular compiler for C and C++ programming, on your Windows 11 computer. By the end of this tutorial, in just under 10 minutes, you'll have our working GCC or G++ compiler on your machine, ready to write and execute C and C++ programs. Let's get started. To install GCC and run our first C or C++ program on our Windows computer, we need to follow 5 steps. The procedure is easy and straightforward if you know what you have to do. The first step is to download and install the MSYS2 software. MSYS2 serves as a software distribution and development platform that simplifies the installation of MinGW and other necessary tools for Windows development. By installing MSYS2, you gain access to a Unix-like environment on your Windows system, which means you can utilize familiar Unix commands and tools. Furthermore, MSYS2 includes a package manager called Pacman, which simplifies the installation, updating, and management of software packages, including MinZW. So, let's install MSYS2. We have to visit this website. Now, we just have to click here to download the installer. After a few seconds, the download of the installer is complete and we can run it. The installation process is very easy. We just have to click next here, select the directory where MSYS2 will be installed, click next and then click the install button. After a few seconds, the installation is complete and we can click the finish button to run the software. The first step of the procedure is now complete. The next step is to perform an upgrade to the database of the software packages of the MSYS2 program. So, in the window that appeared when we opened the MSYS software, we type the following command. pacman dash capital S Y U. Now we have to wait for a few seconds to let the software do its thing. Now we can see all the packages that can be updated. We press Y and then enter to proceed with the installation. After a few seconds, the installation is complete and we have to press Y again and then enter to complete the update process. The terminal window now closes and we need to open it again. We press the Windows Start button and we search for MSYS and we run the MSYS app. The terminal window opens again. Now we need to run this command to finish the upgrade process. pacman does capital S U. We type Y and then enter to proceed. We wait for a few seconds for the procedure to finish and then we close this terminal window. The second step is now complete. We are making progress. The next step is to install the GCC compiler. We can achieve this by just typing a single command. We click on the Windows Start button and then we search our computer for MinGW. We select the MinGW64 and a new terminal window opens. Now we have to type the following command to install GCC. pacman space dash s space MinGW dash W64 dash x86 underscore 64 dash GCC. You can find all the commands in the video description to save you some typing. Now we just have to press Y and then enter to proceed with the installation of the GCC compiler. This procedure will take a minute or two. Perfect. Another step is now complete. The compiler for the C, C++ languages is now installed and ready to use. By the way, if you find what I just shared with you useful, give this video a like so that more people can learn about this easy procedure. Thanks. Before closing this terminal window, let's also install a debugger for the C and C++ languages. We just have to execute this command. pacman space dash s space minzw dash w64 dash x86 underscore 64 dash gdb. Again, we press Y and enter and we wait for a few minutes for the installation process to complete. Great! The installation of the debugger is now complete and we can close this terminal window. We have successfully installed both a compiler and a debugger for C and C++. 
Now, before we can use the compiler from any folder of our system, we have to add the minzw bin directory to our system's path environment variable. This will allow us to access the GCC compiler from any command prompt or terminal window. To do this, we need to follow these steps. We have to open the file explorer and navigate to the installation directory of mcs2. By default, it is located at cmcs64. Inside the mcs installation directory, we find the mincw64 folder and inside this folder, we will find a subfolder named bin. Let's open it. Now we have to copy the path of this bin folder. We can click on the navigation bar right here and just copy the path. Now we click on the Windows Start button and we search for path. We select edit the system environment variables from the search results. Now we have to click on the environment variables button. This will open the environment variables dialog box. In this dialog box, under the system variable section, we scroll down and we find the path variable. We select it and click on the edit button. In the edit environment variable dialog box, we click on the new button to add a new entry. We paste the path of the bin folder that we copied earlier into the text box and click OK. We click OK in all the open dialog boxes to save the changes and we close them. Congratulations, we have successfully added the MinGW bin directory to our system's path environment variable. This means we can now use the GCC compiler from any folder in our system without having to specify the full path. To verify that everything is set up correctly, open a new command prompt or terminal window and type GCC dash dash version and then enter or G plus plus dash dash version. You should see the version information of the GCC compiler displayed, indicating that it is now accessible from anywhere in your system. With the GCC compiler and debugger installed and the path environment variable configured, you are now ready to write and execute C and C++ programs on your Windows 11 computer. Let's compile and run a simple C program to verify that everything is working as expected. I have created a new folder named test on my desktop and in it I have placed a simple C program named test.c that displays the message hello world. Let's compile it. We left click here and we select open in the terminal. Now we compile this program using the following command gcc test.c o test. Perfect. The compilation has been successful. Let's run our program period slash test.exe. As you can see, the program ran and printed the message hello world. Our installation works. Congratulations on installing GCC. You can enjoy C or C++ programming on your Windows computer. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.